curious to know how come there's not any young people on the panel? Well, um, we, we're trying to do something especially with young people uh, through the um, Indigenous Centre of Excellence here in uh, Redfern, but also with the youth parliaments across Australia and uh, one of our members addressed them uh, in Tasmania the other day and uh, they discussed the issue of constitutional recognition and that's, um, that's a matter that uh, they've given resounding support to and hopefully that will now be recommended for the other youth parliaments across Australia. But there, there is a... Um, um, some of the people on the panel probably think they're a bit young compared to some of the other ones, but uh, there, there isn't um, as a representative as such, and, the, and that's a fair comment, but I think the, um, the views of the youth are going to be very important, and we, we've got uh, UMI Unity as a website where you've got Facebook, you've got Twitter, you've got all sorts of ways to, to get, that, uh, get their views across to us, and we're certainly taking note of all of that. Pat, what about the young people that are in remote communities where there's not proper running water and facilities are pretty basic? Like, how are they going to be able to access Facebook and the internet? Well, that's that's true because the, uh, the communication system doesn't get to everyone. We've tried to um, conduct consultations in many of these places. They haven't been as satisfactory as we would like. Uh, we've been in the Kimberleys, we've been uh, in the Pilbara, we've been back, uh, some, one of our members are going to Wollongong tomorrow. We've been to a lot of places, I think over 80 or 90 different places, uh, had uh, over, uh, you know, a thousand sorts of meetings, uh, and in those have been youth, certainly the ones that I've been there, there's been youth at them, um, but often the, the subject matter is, is a bit foreign to anyone that comes to the meeting, mm -hmm. and certainly to the youth, they think the constitution, what's this thing, we've never heard of this, but uh, that doesn't mean their views should be neglected. Mm, great, thank you very much. Thank you. Joey, do you have a question? Yeah, Pat, um, what is it, what, what's it like for you to be on the panel personally? It's very challenging. It's, um, it's I, I have a, some knowledge of the history of uh, race relations in this country. I've been involved in some very important uh, public activities like the uh, Deaths and Custody Royal Commission and the Reconciliation Council. Um, I... Uh, I find it always challenging to have reflected back the, the real contradictory views about reconciliation and people's views about Indigenous people. So uh, it, it's, it's challenging, but uh, I think it's an opportunity to look for how we can hopefully do more and present to the government something that will help take the country forward. Now that requires support from the people of Australia ultimately and obviously of the Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander people themselves. Uh, it requires legal um, you know, reflection, make sure it doesn't uh, upset the constitution uh, in some intended way and that it, um, that it has a, an ability to bring us all together. So uh, it's a challenge, it's a, it's a huge challenge but I, I don't mind the challenge. I think we've got some very good people on the panel and we've got access to others with very good minds when it comes to the law, when it comes to history. Um, but it does take a bit of a bit of work. The time frame's a bit short, which is a bit concerning to me. So if you could, if the government would give you 